Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Thursday, July 4th, 2019. Happy Independence Day, everybody. Our solar wind speeds are sitting at 359.6 kilometers per second with a density of 2.0. Our sun once again is blank. We have zero sunspots to report today. That now makes six days in a row without sunspots for a total of 115 days in 2019. Our KPN to C is sitting at a 1, and our 24-hour max is at a 2. And taking a look at the SDO in motion, and the Earth-facing coronal hole is now turning away from Earth. Solar wind from that should be here tomorrow, and then we have another large coronal hole behind that that could affect Earth's magnetic field by some time around the 8th or the 9th of July. We will continue to monitor this situation. Solar activity is very low. NOAA forecasters say there is no more than a 1% chance of even the feeblest solar flare on July 4th. Indeed, the sun's x-ray output is flatlining. No fireworks? This is what happens when the 4th of July coincides with one of the deepest solar minima in a century. And now here's Mari. Thanks, Jake. A strong and shallow earthquake registered by the USGS as a mag 6.2 hit Hyeda Gwai region in British Columbia, Canada at 4.30 UTC on July 4th, 2019. The agency reporting a depth of 10 kilometers, that's 6.2 miles. There was no tsunami warning issued. The USGS issued a green alert for shaking related fatalities and economic losses, which means there's a low likelihood of casualties and damage. We have more rare tornadoes to report. A large tornado hit China's northeastern city of Kaiwan, Liaoning Province at 715 LT, that's 915 UTC, on July 3rd, 2019, killing six people and injuring at least 190. Provincial weather authorities said tornadoes in this region are rare. The twister was on the ground for several minutes. It upturned vehicles, downed trees, knocked out power and damaged numerous buildings along its path. Experts at the Leoning Provincial Weather Bureau are studying the cause of the tornado, which is very rare in the region. Also, a rare EF2 tornado hit Bendigo, Victoria, Australia. The Australian Bureau of Meteorology has confirmed that a tornado on June 29, 2019 was at least an EF2 in intensity with wind gusts in excess of 200 kilometers per hour. That's 124 miles per hour. The tornado flattened one house, snapped big trees in half, and sent debris flying in multiple directions but did not cause any injuries. Tornadoes as strong as this one are very unusual for this time of year, Baum said. It seems these rare tornadoes are happening worldwide. It would be interesting to see some more research scientifically on how these tornadoes are changing with our changing climate. We are taking some time off from the live show to spend some time with family for the 4th of July. We will be back live tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please give us a like and a share. Thank you for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum channel.